the Democratic Party has been uplifted by young people and people of color. That's the only reason 2020 went to Biden. And now you're just spitting on all of them while they're telling you that we don't want to be complicit in genocide anymore. It seems to be a, a disconnect between the party organizational structure, the party elites, and the people that actually do the organizing. I've, I've been an organizer for the Democratic Party over 10 years now, and I, just a couple weeks ago, Change my party affiliation. I'm no longer a Democrat. I cannot see myself doing any more organizing for the party. Exactly. And that, I thought that was my life. And I, I am done. And everybody my age is saying mm -hmm. the same thing. There is such a disconnect between the people that have carried this party historically and the people making the decisions right now. Uh, this is not a politically viable position to keep any longer. Uh, over 50% of Democrats call it a genocide. Uh, 70, 80% say have been calling for a ceasefire for months. Um, the Biden campaign has stopped going to college campuses out of fear that they're going to be shut down. Uh, this is no longer a politically viable position. Maybe it was at the beginning. Maybe a lot of uh, representatives took the safe position at the start of this conflict, at the start of this genocide. But it is no longer viable. If the party wants to keep itself together, this needs to be a position they reject and move on from. It has to happen if this party wants to survive. Students are getting arrested in pepper spray and zip tied and women that wear hijab are getting the hijabs ripped off of them because they're just peacefully protesting on a university campus. We didn't see that violence and police brutality towards the January 6th rioters that came and took over the Capitol. And they're doing that, they're terrorizing students just sitting in the encampments, peacefully protesting because they don't want to be complicit anymore. And it, it's disgusting. We're tired. We we. It's not like we're going out there for fun. We're going out there because we're we're exhausted of seeing all these dead children and women every day. I see a parallel emerging between the response of, for instance, the government uh, waging war against Hamas like this, along with paralleling uh, the way that campuses have been calling armed forces onto their campus mm. to put down nonviolent student protests. Mm. It's a very myopic, short-sighted, yes. reactionary type of a take. Mm. I see a similar thing taking place against migrants who are crossing the border. Mm -hmm. They're probably climate right. refugees or seeking asylum by another name. Mm -hmm. I'm from San Francisco, California, born and raised. And um, I see people on the streets with nothing, basically, and many people overdosing from fentanyl, many people overdosing from heroin, and it surprises me that the government has money to spend on wars, but they don't have money to spend on the people who are its citizens and who are its constituents. It would be nice if we could enjoy the same luxuries that the people of Israel are enjoying with our tax money. They, they get subsidized housing, health care, education, all, all publicly funded by our taxes. And we don't even have that here in this country. It's shameful and I'm embarrassed as a U.S. Navy veteran that we're doing this to these innocent people. And last but not least, I'm a Muslim American. So this is exact, exactly what we should not be doing. We should not be paying our dollars. But we have our veterans who cannot even get our own VA yes. processes done. It takes us years, 23 years for me. And we're sending millions and millions upon dollars to a country or an invader <laughs> who actually has the money to support their own communities. What is going on and why are we doing this here in America? People are suffering right now. They're hungry, they're starving, they have no home anymore. And just imagine where your family would be. And I think that's what we really need to look at. What would it be like if it was us? No. We haven't had that experience in America. It's not since the Revolutionary War. But imagine today. We have to we have to stand up for what's right.